Hello guys, my name is Epris and today I am going to show you how to make our video file sizes even smaller. So before I start the tutorial, I'll ask you one question. Why do you need to lower your video file size? There are two answers to this question. Number one is to upload your video faster on any social media websites like YouTube. Number two is to save you a lot of time and to save you a lot of space on your storage device whether it's an HDD or SSD. With that being said, let's start. We will need a software called Handbrake. It's a free software and it's easy to use. So go to the first link in the description and it should take you to this downloads page. Once you're on this page, you will see a bunch of download links. All you gotta do is to choose the correct one. If you're on a Mac, then click the download link where it says for Mac OS X. And if you're on Windows like me, you will see two download links, a 64-bit download link and a 32-bit download link. To know the version of your operating system, go to your start menu, right-click on computer, and click on properties. And there it is. So for mine, I am using a 64-bit operating system. Once you've found the correct link, just click on download and an installer should download. I assume you know how to install a software. I'm not gonna install it anymore since I have it on my computer already. After you've installed the program, just open it up and this window should pop up. Now, drag the video that you want to lower the file size. I have a 14 second cut clip recorded with fraps at 1080p. Before I drag it to the software, I'll just show you the video. Get switched on! We gotta move now! So the video is done and I'll show you its file size. As you can see, the file size is so huge, it's 373 MB for a 14 second video. So what we want to do is drag the video to the handbrake window, it's gonna load up for a uh, couple of seconds after it loads up. You want to set the anamorphic setting to none and uncheck keep aspect ratio. That way you can change the resolution of the video to whatever you want. For example, if I have a 1080p video, then I can just change the width to 1280 and the height to 720. This will make my video in 720p. But for mine, I would like to, it to stay at 1080p, so I will not change anything. Don't forget to click on Web Optimized. This setting is very, very important. Go to the Video tab and make sure that the constant quality is set to 20. Go to the frame rate setting and select same as source and click on variable frame rate. The final step is to save the file wherever you want and rename it. I will save mine on the desktop and I will rename it sample video. After you're done choosing the destination and name of your file, all you need to do is to click on start and just wait for your video to encode. My video is finally done encoding. I will now show you its new file size. Before it was 373 MB and now it's just 15.1 MB and that's a huge difference. And by the way, when you encode your videos in Handbrake, there is no loss of quality. I guarantee that. The quality will pretty be much the same. And to prove that, I will again show you the video. Get switched on. We gotta move now. As you can see, the video's quality is still the same but with a smaller file size. So I hope this video was a huge help to some of you. If it is a huge help to some of you, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like, that really helps me a lot. So this is Epris, signing out.